Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in deck number 679, we're going to take a look at our... I don't know if it's our fur. No. Anyway, we're going to look at Octavia, Living Thesis. Now, Octavia here is the perfect... Just, it's beautiful. All right, so for 10 mana, 8 and 2 blue, we get an 8-8 eight, eight Elemental Octopus. This spell costs 8 less to cast if you have 8 or more instants or sorceries in your graveyard. Ward 8, which is kind of the new hexproof variant. Uh, your opponents cannot target it unless they pay the ward cost, which is 8 colorless. But then it has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, target creature has base power and toughness 8-8 eight, eight till end of turn. Now, the, beautiful, the reason why I love this card so much is there are 8 instances of the number 8. Granted, one of them is spelled out, but you know, that's fine. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that Octavia cost two. Yeah, we're not going to play Octavia on turn two. It's not going to happen, but wanted to make sure. So, but I also thought, well, what happens when somebody nukes your graveyard? That happens. So, here we go. A little bit of mana rocks. Uh, or ramp deranged assist is absolutely perfect for the deck uh you mill yourself one which <laughs> the odds of it being an instant or sorcery is really good uh to add a colorless mana it's perfect right of course then we have soul ring pristine talisman mind stone silver mirror sky diamond commander sphere burnished heart mm, burnished heart um Letter of Acceptance. Figure, try out as many of these new cards as possible, right? Uh, Hedron Archive. Unstable Obelisk can double later on. Uh, Paradise Plume. Spectral Searchlight. And Environmental Sciences. Like I said, I figure I would try these new spells. That way... You know, see if they're any good or not. And it is a sorcery. It puts a uh, puts a sorcery into the graveyard. Kind of puts a card in your hand. Now, speaking of putting cards in your hand, I wanted as many low-cost instants and sorceries that drew a card as possible. Because that way, yes, having is you know, having eight instances instance or sorceries in your graveyard, that's a big ask. And we only have start with seven cards in our hand, you know. So, I have got a ton, ton. Uh, Ray of Erasure. Some of these old Ice Age cards, the Ice Age era, uh, you drew the card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So, uh, target player mills one. That could actually be us, and we'd be good with it. Uh, Portent. It is a sorcery. Top a player, draw a card. Sapphire Charm. Yeah, just draw that card. Mental note, how perfect is this? You mill two and then draw a card. So that's going to put instant sorceries in your graveyard. There's a good chance, like three of them. Now granted, we've got, we've got the bombs. You know, Brainstorm. Ponder. Opt. Serum Visions, Gitaxian Probe, Talarian Winds, you know, but we've also got some of the, uh, I guess you could also say bombs from the other, uh, Thought Scour, Whispers of the Muse, it just draws a card. Yeah, if it's late game, that's fine, you might can buy it back, but we don't want to buy it back here in this particular deck. We want this to be in the graveyard, like our Reach Through the Mist, that's it, we're just drawing a card. Quicken, yeah, you can play a sorcery at instant speed, and it puts both of them, at, you know, but it, the important part of here is it replaces itself. It draws that card. Thermal Flux, draw card. Delayed card draw. Twisted Image. It, yeah, you got to have a creature to target, that's fine. Just, just draw a card. Shadow Rift is actually pretty good, because, um, we're going to get to how we're going to win the game here in a second, but 
and it is attacking with a creature, so um, Shadow Rift is uh, pretty good for that. Uh, peak, Leap. You don't know how much it hurt me not to actually run Jump in here, uh, but it didn't meet the criteria of drawing the card. Illusion of Choice. Now, uh, which we're running this because it's a one-mana instant that draws a card, but you know what? If it ever, if the voting part ever matters, it's going to feel like the biggest win ever, right? <laughs> um, Clairvoyance. A delayed card draw. Cerulean Wisp. There again, if turning a creature blue ever matters, uh, it's going to be beautiful. A Curate. It's, it's two mana, but it draws you a card. Uh, Windfall, of course, is just a a great card. Uh, introduction to Prophecy, same thing. Scry to draw a card. And then Huddle Up. Now, I figure... I figure somebody's willing to donate two mana for a card, right? So the, this can become a one mana card draw. Now, with all of that, yes, I'm running Talrand. That's not our primary win con, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. Uh, Archmage Emeritus in this deck is nuts. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, draw a card. So that's, that is what we really want. So... Now, a lot of the removal, that's where all of the counter magic is. There's more instants and sorceries there. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and run through that. We have Counterspell, Arcane Denial. Hey, that draws a card too. Negate, Disrupt, Rewind, Rapid Hybridization. It's a good card. Mental Misstep, Spell Pierce, Ether Spouts. Force away. And then the card that's going to give away our win con is Corrupted Conscience. That's right. This is mono blue infect. That way, whatever we steal is going to have infect, right? But what if it's not very big? Well, our commander, Octavia, doesn't care. She's going to turn it into an 8 8. Just like the viral Drake. Yeah. Four mana for a 1-4 flying inf infect? Eh. How about four mana for an 8-8 eight, eight flying infect? Yeah, right? Uh, corpse Cur. I'm sorry. Phyrexian Digester. I was looking at Corpse Cur. Blighted Agent, though, is living the dream. This is the card that you want. Unblockable infect creature. Octavia turns it into an 8-8. Eight, eight. Once your graveyard is stacked, and it, 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 that's hard. Uh, Iker Claw Mirror has Infect, and then Thrumming Bird. Now, of course, we've got Diplomatic Immunity to kind of uh, to protect our our commander. And then I didn't really know where to put this card. Multiple choice because it can do a whole lot of stuff, and I like that. I, you know. Um, I like the way it's templated. I do. It's very, uh, very thematic. But then we have uh, our non-basic lands. Of course, most of them are basics, you know. Got to have that Rogue's Passage if we're planning on twin via combat. Some, um, some cycle lands. The Lonely Sandbar, Remote Isle, and Desert of the Mindful, just in case we draw them and we want to cycle them away to keep drawing them cards. Halimar Depths, um, it's a Ponderland, you know, <laughs> without the card draw. And then our last card is Arena. Uh, if you'll notice, I personally did not, we're playing one, one more land than I normally do. I believe this is the 38th land. Um, could be wrong. I'm not exactly certain. Uh, but, yeah... We have an 8-8 commander that could, you know, that's kind of Octavia herself. I don't know that, I mean, yeah, it's an 8-8 commander. If there's no blocker, sure, that's great. Uh, besides, if she dies and you've got a fully loaded graveyard, she's easy to bring back. But, you know, putting Octavia into the arena will kill most things and, and she will live through it. So that is 
Octavia. I, I was it was a super fun deck to build. Um, I like those decks that to where you want cards that you don't normally play with. You know, how many how many Ray of Eraser decks do I have really? And this box looks a, a little different. This is actually a uh, a Dragon Shield box that uh, one of y'all gave me. So trying it out, we're gonna see what it. See how it be. So that is six seventy nine, and we're gonna put it on the wall. It is slightly, just marginally, probably like a fingernail width wider than the others, but that's fine. Um, still looking for new deck box options. Uh, the the other ones that I have used are. Apparently not in production anymore. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. And uh, we're going to shuffle and cut.